So I, uh, I, I get so drunk during the podcast that I do, and it's not written. So I always like Wednesday it comes out. So I always listen to it because I never remember. <laughs> it's kind wow. of it's kind of the audio equivalent of uh, what's that called? The stranger, the where you sleep on your hand and then or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I said, and then I, and then sometimes I'm like, oh, wait, was that a really good show and or a really bad show? And I, I whatever my theory is, so you is get like wrong. blackout drunk and do a podcast. I mean, it's a, it's it. I I, I guess. That sounds awful. It sounds like a movie of the week, but uh, it, it it it's yeah. I mean, it's uh, yeah, you know, blackout drunk is when you like wake up with an injury. I, I think this is just my. I think blackouts you don't remember what you did or something. Right, yeah. you're, okay. blackout. Yeah, you're taking yeah. it to the evil Knievel level. Right. Where you wake up with a collarbone sticking out of your chest. You can just not remember what you said and get dirty looks. At, you go, right. wow, I guess I was that guy. Yeah, I mean, I remember that I was on stage. I remember that I was in front of a microphone. And I maybe I can maybe remember like yeah. topics that came up. But. but you're like a guy with like theoretically sensitive information like you were just talking about a project that you're like ah, I don't know if we should be talking about this and you have to work with right. celebrities that might not want their business out there yeah yeah you should uh, probably uh, be responsible right for, for what you say on a podcast nah nothing will ever happen uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's the internet it doesn't count uh, right. you, can, yeah. you can libel people slander <laughs> I mean, it's the internet that's the internet yeah, you, can, you can just take shit that isn't yours just play your voice your, mails, uh, yeah. curate it all as they say have you uh, so have you said things on the podcast? You're like, oh fuck, why did I say that? Yeah, well, I did the the Chevy Chase thing. I t- I, t- I got out my phone. Oh, this that's is right. This is before. That's before, by the way, it was a podcast. That's actually kind of the reason it is a podcast now, is because what that was was a show that I was doing in the back of this comic book store. Where I don't know if you guys have done stand up there, the meltdown. But um, yeah, um, but uh, it was just like a cabaret kind of audience. It was just like oh, there's 150 people here, and I was like well uh, comfortable by that time of sharing my frustrations of working with. A living legend, uh, like, like like I had done it so many times that I wasn't associating it with danger, you know. Like I didn't. Now I look back on it, and I'm like, why did you pick up that firecracker? And like, but but if you pull out from that footage, it's like I was just eating firecrackers all the time. It's just like that one happened to go TMZ. But what what I did was I. It wasn't for the internet. It was just for this room full of people. I took out my phone and I had this voicemail from him that was particularly vitriolic. And I was like, I'm going to share, I played it to the microphone. Somebody in the audience recorded that. They put it on the internet. And then it was like, oh man, that was a huge mistake. Like, I had to. when that story broke, though. Wasn't everybody saying that it was like a community rap party or something like that? That it, they weren't, they didn't never put it into the context of. That's what Chevy was talking about. And that, that, that's why we were quote unquote feuding. By the time the story broke, we were already friends again. We were laughing about it, but it was like it, it. What had happened is at the rap party <laughs> after a season that was very contentious. I I made the jo- I kind of like I I the the crew like I was I thought I was being like a white knight to the crew at the rap party and saying okay, uh, before we play the gag reel and 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 all go home like. I'm your boss. You can't get fired. So everybody on the count of three, just say, go ahead and say, fuck you, Chevy. And everybody, everybody very much <laughs> participated. <laughs> um, Dude, that could literally be a series of just Chevy Chase stories, just animating them <laughs> and then cutting to live action. I mean, the guy is a fucking legend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's a legend. Uh, the stories of this guy. So he was like, so he, he left when I did that. And there was this whole thing about, oh, in front of my wife and kids. Well, his, his kids are, 48 like I, 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 I but 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 like he <laughs> like middle aged children <laughs> um, how do but, I explain uh, to my children he's well, got a colostomy bag how can you do that in front of my <laughs> child exactly you think 48 years in they're confused as to whether or not their dad is an asshole <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly well that was my defense I think like, they know him right. like they, they've had to work with him longer than anybody <laughs> um, but and, but and, 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 and I I hope it's clear I know I was in the wrong I shouldn't have done that but but uh, at the rap party or otherwise, but what? Him and the that? family just walked out when you did that. Yeah, he just he just left. I mean, uh, rap parties aren't that fun anyway. But uh, oh, he was there when you said "fuck you, Chevy." Yeah. Oh, so you kind of just breaking his balls in front of everybody. Yeah, like, because he well, has. You can't, you can't say you didn't know what was going to happen. Were you drunk? What do you mean? I well, I'm sure, I'm sure I was. It was after three. Okay, now I, it all makes sense. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was about. It was supposed to be like about blue collar camaraderie. It was like, oh, here's this guy that's been controlling our lives for a season, who like is sometimes responsible for some really uncomfortable moments. Like I'm, 
I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do you the favor of letting you say this out loud. So it's like kind of a it's kind of a lynch mob. Like like no one no one will be. It's a firing squad. Like like no one's no one's and accountable. He obviously, had no sense of humor about it. Yeah, I, th- I think I think he was a. Fe- I mean, he has a great sense of humor. He he he's not a thin skinned guy at all. Mm-hmm. But he's also, um. Like, like he, he, you know, I was being a dick to him, so he was like okay. offended. Was by he that. shocked that people saw him that way? Sometimes people don't see themselves that way, and then all of a sudden, when the whole crew goes "fuck you," you're like, "Wow, am I, <laughs> am I interpreted that way by them?" I don't, I don't, I don't know. I can't, I can't get inside Which that. Which makes that person even more hateable. That yes. that like, it's like at least, <laughs> at least we thought you knew. <laughs> yeah. No self awareness. Like, it's like how you fucking treated me that way, and you had no idea that that would annoy me. Like people when they do the lack of self awareness makes you them know hateable, people yeah. like that yeah. do. They do a lot of double hands to the chest like i i wasn't I that, that <laughs> fucking thing you just like ah oh, fuck you yes. i think he They're always the worst like, that was like when that publicist backed over those 16 people do you remember that and I do, she got uh, away with it on long island Gruber, i think or yeah yeah and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the picture her in the post she had both hands like to her chest like you know <laughs> i didn't so see funny. that entire mob of people <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he was. I mean, it's weird his relationship with with other people that he's working with versus his relationship with the public. Like he, I've never seen a bigger man of the people. Like on the Paramount lot, like he would. If, if anytime there was a tour, you'd walk around the corner and he'd just be holding court, telling people stories about Fletch and stuff, and everyone is like freaking out. I saw him like uh, there was a guy doing. Like, we had a hot dog vendor outside the stage once, and he starts going, "Oh, holy crap, Jeffy Chase! I can't fucking believe my sister's gonna freak out." He's like, "What's your si- give me? Wh- wh- where's your sister?" Uh, and and he gets out his phone, and he Chevy Chase grabs the guy's phone after he dials his sister's number, walks off for twenty minutes, and is like bullshitting with his sister. <laughs> like, the guy is like freaking out. I, I mean, so, so it was. It's weird, like how how like how heroic and noble he was, like to what he saw as balance. the consumer. Yeah. But I think he saw everybody. That was a weird speech impediment. I think he saw uh, it, like everybody that he kind of shared the camera with. He's a soloist, and he's kind of like kind of playfully competitive, and like kind of like sees it as a competition. Like he never he never saw it as a team team event. He said that SNL background. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I have no so, idea. So. I'm surprised though that after like that all breaks that you decide I got to start doing a podcast because a lot of people would be like let me retreat and do less publicly because I don't like all this backlash. I got to do a podcast, right. borderline blackout drunk. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is the next move. Yeah. Well, talking into a microphone like feels so much better than not doing it when you have stuff bouncing around in your head. I'm sure you guys have the same condition. You know, it feels therapeutic because otherwise you just you, there's no. Words for it, and so to have that. I just berate the person I live with. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> since we're like a like a red fox routine or something, and just like uh, the, the 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 there's to have that like explode, and then to have that be the reason I I wouldn't have that outlet anymore. I that wasn't an option for me. So the opposite was well then. If this is going to be on TMZ because it's leaked, you know, then I'll just leak everything. You know, just listen to me talk every week for two hours, and then it won't be newsworthy anymore. But it's a, it's a right. Like it, there's just so much stuff. Yeah. Like he's always talking shit. Yeah, like, are you going to report on it? Yeah, you won't feel it. Won't feel clickable. It, it won't feel like naughty if the guy is like always running his mouth. Then right. it's, it's like yeah. it still also depends on what you talk about, though. You know, the, and you can there are those predict. ones that no matter what. Like when Stern did that, made that comment about that actress or whatever, going like, "Yeah, you're gonna get all this work." He's like, "You're not. You need to lose all this weight." Right. And blah 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 blah. Which was true. Right. Health, as far as health goes, and that type of thing, and the way Hollywood looks at people, and it was right. totally true. But because that was such a big thing, out of all the shit that that guy says, don't you remember that? That was you no. know that was like a you know it was a typical three days everybody gives a shit, right. and then three days later you know they don't care. And they moved yeah, on. A they moved on, Jim. They moved on they you do, and, they... and, and onto your microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has Jim gone Hollywood? The hot news in Hollywood. Yeah. Demanding his own microphone. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Ran- you can't predict at all. Like it, you could say forty eight like totally like uh, horrible inflammatory things and get all used to it, and then it's like this weird weather phenomenon. It's like a tornado or an earthquake in terms of like what 40 becomes. Soccer moms is my my. Theory. That's like forty the soccer monkey. moms all tweet at the same time. <laughs> it gains enough hashtag traction, right. and then yeah. it's such an easy. It's an easy story, right? right. You're not going to talk about the Great Barrier Reef being dead when you can talk about. <laughs> oh, can you believe this guy said that about someone on a podcast? And it just becomes like. Uh, 
you know. Yeah. My no, rule became you guys you guys don't have this luxury. You have to like have discipline and like do like do jokes and those are going to involve the rest of the world, but my rule became because I'm babbling I had to, to go, okay, it's at the end of my nose where all the, you know, I, I can confess, I can talk about anything. No one's, it's not going to be clickbait if I talk about sticking stuff up my butt when I'm jerking off or, or like, like, you know. What do you stick in your butt when you jerk off? I've, I've, you, can't, you can't brush over that. <laughs> yeah, bad Script, scripts. scripts he didn't like. <laughs> People's dreams. <laughs> People's dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really fancy. I'm like a Sam Shepard play. Um, Do you take I, those uh, little brass clips out of there before? <laughs>